Hey, this is Chris Gossman, and you're about to watch a video tutorial focusing on a special kind of stealth gameplay in IDOS's new prequel, Deus Ex Human Revolution. I'm an old school gamer with a PC background that begins with Sierra's King's Quest series made back in the 80s. My stealth action genre roots begin with the Splinter Cell series, where I was known as Goliath VT. I created and maintained SC Spy World during the rise of Chaos that? Theory and created the full stealth Nothing. tutorial video series for Splinter Cell Double Agent. I'm now known as Grease Scotsman, and I'm also the lead shoutcaster for Quake Live TV, Enemy Territory TV, Brink TV, noticing a theme yet, and uh, recently covered QuakeCon 2011 live from Dallas, Texas. Uh, now that you know a little bit about me, I wanted to make this tutorial because I kept running across gamers who were just using non-lethal weaponry with reckless abandon and calling that a stealth video. Sure, you're not setting off any alarms, but everyone knows you've been there, so what's the point? In my mind, at the very least, stealth should carry with it the notion of minimal impact, leaving behind minimal trace evidence of your passing. Before achievements were something set and earned by the game developer, the communities made them. And for those of us who are Splinter Cell veterans, uh, one of the best was to ghost a level, meaning to complete a mission not only by remaining undetected, but also getting through without disturbing anything. No lights shot out, no knockouts, no gadgetry use, etc. For DXHR, that means completing a level with zero takedowns. Zero stuns, bolts, bullets, shells fired, and, for the truly hardcore, one might even try to close vents, doors, and such behind themselves whenever possible, so that absolutely no trace is left. That's what I've done here for the tutorial mission, and for mission one. Enjoy. But I've improved its design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the back blast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the augment. Here. Watch. Go ahead. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explain it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order. When all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you, Darrow, ever did. Environmental malfunction. Laboratory subsection 6. All lab chiefs, please report in. We better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. Let me know what you find. One of the beautiful things about playing Deus Ex on the PC is, of course, you get to actually use all the keys, including, when entering codes, the keypad. Pritchard, where's Megan? Did she report in yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the microcam labs. I think she's running. So far, I absolutely adore this game. It, uh, it does so many things right, and I just definitely did not abandon the PC crowd. So here I'm trying to put my gun away, but apparently as soon as you round that corner, it pops back out. So I don't want to use my gun game. It's okay. I don't plan on shooting anybody today. This poor poor person right here. I'm trying to grab their hand. It takes a minute for them to actually die. Poor thing. There we go. Yeah, so we're just going to pull them out in case that door comes down all the way. Just pull them out of the line of crushing. Why on earth? Uh, you know, it seems like, gee, it's almost like these uh, tubs have been placed strategically to stop those quarantine doors from locking in place. It's almost as if the lockdown procedures were sabotaged. So 
So here's what I'm talking about with full stealth. I'm, uh, I did move the box, yes, but I also replaced the vent. So it's not obvious that I took that route if, say, a guard were to come by later. Imaginary, of course. Not actually in the game, but imaginary. The guard comes by. Again, the game's only been out for a couple of days, so I'm sure there are much faster ways to do this, but uh, I just happened to notice that these guys on their initial, like before they've established their paths, uh, they will give you some time to get past them right here. Pardon me while I step on that corpse. Here I was fiddling with my mouse. Uh, and I am going to sort of um, edit this video slightly. What, what you're going to, the final product will have some edits in it. So that uh, points where I'm waiting, for example, for guards to get into a certain position, or if I'm quite frankly trying to learn a pattern, uh, I'm going to cut that out so you don't have to watch it. <laughs> I figured that's, you know, the least I can do. So here, um, I want to hop across, but I need to make sure there's, there's another guy patrolling, and I'm not quite sure where he went to. So I'm trying to get a beat on him. And I realized, okay, yeah, he's, he's clearly up ahead. So I was able to make my entrance. And here, you have to wait for these two guards there's one guard that will always be looking in one direction, and he actually causes a problem later, which you'll see. I haven't really explored this room. Uh, there may be a vent where I can bypass these guys completely. I haven't looked for it. Uh, I kind of found this path to be the most fun and the most challenging. And careful here because that one guy starts to path back. I got lucky that he didn't look over in my direction. Uh, the guy that's on the far side there. Because uh, he can spot you. I, one thing I love about this game is that the uh, eyesight of the bad guys is actually pretty good. Especially on hard skill. Uh, so I don't really know. I haven't really tested like ranges between easy, normal, and hard. But I always play games on hard level. Uh, simply because most games are completely dumped down these days. Uh, no offense, but to uh, accommodate all the console casual players. So uh, I do love that, that Idis has done a nice job at uh, giving us a game that actually presents some challenge. So here, this is where this one stationary guard poses a problem. If you notice, for a portion of the time, he kind of looks off to what would be his left. And that's your window, but that has to also sync up with these two guards when they are not looking anywhere near you. So this is another kind of waiting game. This is very patient room, I would say. And I'm about to get an opportunity right here, but I was a little bit slow. So as you can hear, I actually went like they they saw something. They probably saw the door open or something like that.
I'm pretty sure if I got that timing exactly right, I can get through here without setting off any sort of investigation. But I basically don't want to spend another, you know, 20 minutes figuring that out. So this presents a problem because I need to cross in front of this door. So uh, I need to actually close it without triggering anything. I don't even know if they can see through the room, to be honest. Um, I think I read somewhere on the forums that they have a hard time with that, so whatever. So again, another one of these strategically placed uh, containers that apparently has fragile stuff inside of it. This poor guy is not going to make it. So here, this is another area where I realized I could get through something faster. So I reloaded it at the start of the room. And so I think there are a couple of opportunities in this room to go a little bit earlier than I did. I think, potentially, you can go as soon as this one guy right here. Uh, I don't know. You might be able to make it through in that time. I'm not exactly sure, and I didn't really want to risk it. Uh, the guy on the far left that's pathing around this table here, on the left, uh, he's not too much of a nuisance if you take the path I'm about to go. Uh, you can pretty much just ignore him, with uh, one exception, when you're on the far side of the room near the exit. Again, I haven't searched this room for vents. Saw my opportunity, took it. And uh, this is pretty much my, my second playthrough. Uh, when I did this tutorial mission the first time around, I was kind of getting used to, you know, I wanted to test out the gunplay and all kinds of things. So I actually did kill people and all that kind of, kind of stuff. So I was very happy to see that I could make it through without uh, disturbing anybody. So here, uh, it's kind of important where you stop. Um, I'm trying to cross into this center area because uh, the guy pathing closest to you can spot you depending on the angle that he catches you. Uh, if you're on kind of the the other end of the table before I did my spin move. So I need to be very careful about that. There he is. I, I'm, I'm waiting for this damn guard. It seems like he's just taking forever. I'm waiting for him because I need to get his timing down. Because uh, his pathing is what I'm using to base kind of the timing and position of everyone else. So, waiting for the opportunity to, to do the spin. And uh, you have to be careful about that because if you try to spin and they're looking right at you, you will be spotted, which I love. I actually cut out a lot of footage here. I'm, again, learning these uh, these paths. Because I didn't really care about them much when I was uh, blowing their heads off before, so. Now here, I gotta cross the doorway, so again, SWAT turn will come in handy. I'm trying to get uh, an angle. I'm waiting for to a guy on the far that was pathing on the far right, so that he won't be a nuisance. I'm waiting for him. It's kind of off the edge of my screen there. 
waiting for these guys now to turn around. There we go. Okay. So, you know, that's probably uh, the hardest room. And uh, now, just for fun, I'm going to go look at the robotic arm. Pay no attention to the fact that you're about to get thrown through a window. Enjoy. Enjoy.